If you're a blogger, it can be quite frustrating sometimes when your content gets shared on social media. Why? Well, when somebody posts your blog post to say Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or Google+, those networks may draw in a different image to the one that you'd like to be associated with your blog. In fact, they seem to draw in images from anywhere on your website. Well, the good news is that you can control the images that get shared on these networks using a plugin for WordPress called Yoast. That's Y-O-A-S-T. So today I'm going to show you how to set that up. So go and log into your WordPress blog. The first thing that you'll need to do if you don't have Yoast already installed on your site is to add it. So go to the plugins menu from your dashboard, click on add new and you can search for Yoast there. If you look in the footer of this video, you'll see a blog post that I've included that shows you how to add the Yoast plugin. And it also shows you how to add Twitter cards. So today I'm just going to look at Facebook and I'm going to look at Google+. So go to posts on the left hand side and click on the post that you want to edit. And once you're in there, scroll down until you see the Yoast dashboard. So that's this here. And we're looking at social. Now here's where you can add the information that's specific for Facebook and for Google+. And it's for Facebook that we can use the specialised image. So for the Facebook description, you might want to write something new or you might want to grab something from your post. And you might want to reword it slightly for Google+. Now you get to upload an image. And if you click upload an image, the first place it brings you into is your media library. So the image you want to use is already there. You can choose it there. Or you can go to upload files and upload something from your computer. If you're editing an existing post, now you can click the update button. If it's a new post you're composing, of course, this will just happen when you publish the post. So I'm clicking update there. Now let me show you what happens when I post it to Facebook. So on Facebook, I paste the link in as I always would. And as you can see, when the preview appears, that's the image that I've chosen and that's the text that I copied from the link. And don't forget, if you are posting a link to Facebook, always tell people what's in it.